I've never been much into art in my life. I really couldn't tell you what painting is what, other than the Mona Lisa or maybe a couple others. I do enjoy music and have always been intrigued when it comes to pottery. I enjoy watching the potter take a lump of clay and begin to shape the clay into something that is recognizable. I was thinking of this recently when I was reading this verse in Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. It says this, God saved you by His grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things that He planned for us all along. Did you catch that? It says you are His masterpiece. When you gave your life to Christ, you became a whole new creation. Jesus' death on the cross changed everything. We are now adopted and become a child of God. We now have purpose and a plan. When you look at the potter taking the clay and molding it with his hands, he is not just trying to make shapes. He is forming that pottery for a specific purpose and a plan. He is shaping it to be something useful. This verse in Ephesians says that you are his masterpiece. He has created you into a whole new person and is shaping you to be useful and have a purpose. One of my favorite chapters and scriptures to read when I'm reminding students of their value to God is Psalms 139, 13 through 15. It says this, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body. You knit me together in my mother's room. Thank you for making me wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. Now how amazing is the idea that we were knitted together in our mother's womb. He watched as we were being formed. Is this not amazing to think about? He was there when you were formed, and then you were made new spiritually, and you became his masterpiece, or as one translation says, his handiwork. Today, I want you to realize you are God's masterpiece, and you were created for a purpose and a plan. Just like that pottery is formed and fashioned for a purpose, His purpose for you is amazing, and He needed someone just like you to reach those people around you.